Welcome back. Here's lesson four, multiple segments and camera movement. You can see both of those things here. How will we get there? We left off like this. So let's see what changes we need to make to add these new features. Let's start with uh, these constants and variables here at the beginning. Here are the changes. You saw that the snake starts out with three segments. It's not visible there anymore. And so that's what this constant is for. And then we've added a zero vector that just contains zeros for x, y, and z. And then instead of having pause for the position of the entire snake, which is a single cell, we have a segments array. All right, now let's look and see what's changed in setup. Here's the new zero vector, initialized to zeros. And we're calling a new function setup state. And then we removed something here, which was creating the position, the single position. Now in setup state, we're going we're gonna to build the segments array. OK, next let's look at draw. Draw is a little shorter now. We move some of the code to new functions, draw arena, draw snake. And here, uh, also move snake is a new function. And we've added a call to our function move camera to, which we'll see in a bit. That allows the camera to move in an oscillating pattern using the sign function. And in P5.js, Frame count starts at one and increases by one for every frame of animation. And your frame rate might be something like 30 frames per second or 60. So that moves pretty fast. So we divide that by 50 and then feed that to sine. Sine gives us numbers between minus one and one. And we map those numbers um, for the camera's x coordinate into the range zero through. 80% of the arena width, and that's what gives it that camera movement starting at x equals 0 and moving to x equals minus arena width times 0 0.8. And then for the y coordinate of the camera, we just always keep it up at 8 tenths of the arena width. Uh, arena height is the same as arena width. Okay, that's it for draw. Let's see what the next change is. We have two new functions here, setup state. Notice I capitalized the U because set up when used as a phrasal verb is two words. Setup state sets the direction to all zeros because we're not moving yet. And then builds this array of segments. And in JavaScript, if you use this array from and give it an object here with the length, uh, let me go to show you the starting num segments. That's up here, that's three. Jumping back. So it creates an array of three elements and then allows us to give a function that will be used to create the values for the elements of the array. And um, i here for an array length of three takes on the values 0, 1, and 2. It's the indexes of the individual elements that we're responsible for creating. And we use that i um, to position the three segments of the snake. So the first time, i is equal to 0. So negative 0 times cell width is 0. So the arguments to create vector are 0, 0, 0. That puts the head of the snake at the origin. And then the next time, i has a value of 1. So minus 1 times cell width on the x-axis moves us left a bit. And minus 2 moves us left even more. This creates segments, which is an array of three, initially three vectors. Here's move snake. Some of this is the same as before, but to check the direction we're going, we now look at, um, we compare it to the zero vector. And it, this just means if we've already started moving because we pressed a key, then we do all these other things. And this new head pause we had before, and this was similar to what we had before, or the same. 
And then here's what we call setup state, which is above. Um, if you should hit a wall or the snake itself. This is restarting the game. Um, if you would remain in the arena, then now, this is new. Here we're doing this pop and unshift, and these are JavaScript array operations. And pop just throws away the tail. Um, we're not moving all the segments. We're just throwing away the last one, and we're making a new one in the new position. That's what this unshift does. It puts an element at the front of the array, and the element is this new head pause vector for the new heading, for the new head position. Now we have this move camera to function, and it uses the P5's camera function. And if you look at the documentation for P5's camera, they'll give you the values for the default camera, which is very similar to this. The only thing that we've changed is we use our own values for X and Y. So if you don't care about the details of orienting the camera, you can ignore all this part. Just focus on the fact that we want the ability to move the camera left some and up some. You can control a lot about the camera, and the camera always aims at the center. No matter where we move it because of this line of code, it always aims at the center. The last part is the new draw snake function. And here, there are a couple of new things. One is we need to draw every segment, not just one segment. So we have a for each loop to give us every segment. The other thing that's new is this at function that's here. So let me talk about that. It's common when you're doing 3D P5JS work that you will use transformations like translate. Those transformations can interfere with each other. So we often use push and pop to save and restore the state of transformations so that we can undo the transformation that we've applied. And so often there's this pattern, push, translate, do something, draw a box or whatever, and then pop. And I have extracted that code into this function. And here's how it's used. You say at, and you see that four arguments are required here. And the first three, the x, y, and z, are coming from this snake segment's vector turned into an array. So the, this segment is a P5 vector, which is holding x, y, and z. We turn it into an array, and then we use JavaScript's spread operator to turn it into three separate arguments. So this expression here expands into three arguments, the x, y, and z down here. And then this this part here is a function. It's a function that's called with no arguments. And this is what it does. It calls box with the segment width. All right, that's what draw snake does. Why don't we see if this works? Great. I can move around. Can come towards me. Whoops, that's not towards, that's away. That should be towards, down, and then it should reset when it hits the bottom. And there it is. Good. So I'll see you in the next lesson.